Melanie, thanks so much for taking oh, the time pleasure. to chat with us. A royal expert, which is exactly <laughs> what we need right now because Thomas Markle just kind of keeps going despite saying that he's not going to keep going. Yeah. So the latest remark that he made that's getting traction is what he told the Mail on Sunday that Meghan has cut him out completely after he was critical of the royal family. First of all, is it even possible that Meghan's father doesn't have any way of contacting her? Actually, that is possible. And of everything he said, it's probably the most truthful thing. You know, she now lives in Kensington Palace with Prince Harry. There's a big team of advisors around them. And it's very difficult to get in contact with the royal family. He says that she's changed her number, that he's finding it very hard. Well, of course she has changed her number. She is now a duchess. So did he not have her contact information after the wedding? He only had her contact information prior to the wedding? He had her contact information up until the wedding and after, actually. But what happened was is he continued to taunt her in the press. So the fact that she has changed her number, according to him, so it's hard for him to get in contact with her, that doesn't surprise me at all. He absolutely knew how to get in contact with Meghan. We know that they've spoken since the wedding as well. Meghan and Harry both called him the day after the wedding. And, you know, she has been trying to have a relationship with her father, but he continues, rather than actually talking directly to his daughter, which is what he should have been doing since the beginning, of using the press as his intermediate so that he can talk to her through them. And obviously that's what's upset her. And the royal family has been keeping quiet mum on this topic so far. Is there a line that he hasn't crossed yet, or do you think there's something he could say that would be a deal breaker and cause them to go public with their thoughts on this? I really think that Thomas Markle has crossed the line. I think the fact that he has been uh, so publicly critical of his daughter has really upset people. First of all, criticizing the way she looks, saying that she looks like she is um, very, very unhappy, implying that she's somehow in a prison, that she can't get herself out of it. But what's really really been upsetting over the past week is the fact that he's used Princess Diana's name. That's something that to Prince Harry, his sacred mother, to use Princess Diana's name as a weapon against Meghan and Harry, that would be incredibly upsetting to the House of Windsor. Do you think Meghan is calling the shots here alongside Harry, or is this silence uh, an order that's trickling down from above? You have to bear in mind that the royal family will never publicly get themselves involved in some sort of kind of soap opera of families. Yes, they've been involved in scandals before, obviously Princess Diana, Prince Charles, but that was all in the past, and actually they really try and steer clear of that. Their main role is to be these kind of figureheads, to be these um, images of respectability, of being an example to people. Charitable. Charitable, exactly, and philanthropy work, mm -hmm. not to get themselves involved in family drama. You know, their way of looking at things is that if they were to publicly make any declarations that it in some way is stoking the fire, that it's making things worse. Now, obviously, Thomas Markle has said that the more that they won't speak, the more he's going to talk. He said that he's going to come for them. He feels emboldened by this. He does. I don't quite understand how he doesn't realize that what he's done so far is coming for them. I don't know what else he could do. For the royal family as well, they're in a difficult position for Meghan, especially in a terrible position, whereby the more she talks to her father, the more information she's going to give him so that he has more um, to go to the press with and to relay those messages to the press. He has proved he cannot be trusted. He has proved that his relationship with his daughter means nothing compared to his relationship with the press. His logic as far as if she doesn't start talking to me, I'm going to talk more to the press, doesn't make any sense. He's taunting his daughter. He's emotionally blackmailing his daughter by saying publicly, yeah, I could be dead tomorrow. Like, this is what she's going to have to live with. He's criticized Meghan's mother as well as talked about Prince Harry's mother, Diana. I mean, I'm not quite sure what else Thomas Markle can do, but bearing in mind the interview that he did this past Sunday, he made more threats about upsetting the royal family and upsetting Meghan, he obviously feels like he has more that he can say. Now, what do you think is his end game here? What's his ultimate goal? Because it seems Meghan is kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. If she doesn't talk to him, he keeps talking. 
but do you think she could be trying to contact him privately and would that even make a difference if she is? I'll just say as far as Megan's situation, she is in the worst possible situation. She has her own father selling her out, right, to the press. That's a terrible thing to do. And bear in mind, in-laws and new um, new husbands, new wives, that could be a difficult... Anyway. A difficult relationship. Just for regular people. Regardless <laughs> of whether there is a royal family and crests and palaces and tiaras is involved, very difficult. What Thomas has done is purposely criticised the royal family, criticised the Queen, criticised Harry, criticised all of them, and still expects to have a relationship with Meghan. When Prince Harry said this past Christmas that Meghan has now got the family that she never had, I think he got a lot of heat for that. But actually, in retrospect, we can see that maybe he was right, because her father is not acting like a dad at the moment. And you asked as far as the end goal. What is his motivation here? I really don't know. He says his recent interview with the Mail on Sunday he was not paid for. Before that he was being paid. And his motivation before, aside from money, felt like it was about ego. He talked about how he'd spoken to the press because he didn't like the way his pat pictures were, that it looked like he was lazy or that he was drinking or whatever it was. He didn't think that they were very complimentary. That's about ego, right? That is that is a motivation that is something that even Megan can't fulfill. And it just really gives us a, an example of what could potentially be a very abusive relationship between this father and this daughter.